वेलकम टू दिस ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ सेशन ऑफ अर्गोनॉमिक्स फॉर बिगिनर्स इंडस्ट्रियल डिजाइन परस्पेक्टिव सो इन दिस करेंट मॉड्यूल इज मॉड्यूल फाइव बिहेवियर एंड परसेप्शन अंडर दिस मॉड्यूल द क्लास नंबर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ दैट इज इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेसिंग एंड परसेप्शन एंड इट्स इज हम डिजाइन रिलीवेंसेस नो लास्ट क्लास जिस्ट on this cognitive ergonomics aim and application areas under that we have discussed last time that ergo cognitive ergonomics is especially important in the design of complex high tech or automated systems the stereotypes and product semantics and ergonomic criteria designing or redesigning a product or a system the shape size and overall form should be according to the various confirmed and anticipated behavior patterns of a normal user when using a similar article we also discussed that the relation between sensation and feeling and the design appreciation there we should have linking the past experience while thinking for a new design the psychological acceptance factor depends on some issues that is the product or component in any system and space thereby should speak should speak out its usefulness and mode of use to their intended users linking with users basic instincts and past knowledge the that is the semiotic application in design if we perform this then the design will be well accepted and it will go for a trust worthy feeling <coughs> so today is the cognitive ergonomics the today's session class 25th is that uh, the information and processing information processing and the perception and some psychological issues behind this uh, now we will see this through this is industrial engineering application system engineering application and industrial management application and relevant to that now for industrial engineering issues we can say that it is being used in for designing jobs that is determining the most economic way to perform work this most economic work OS it means that uh, including human resources the setting performance standards and benchmarks for quality quantity and cost designing and installing facilities these issues are covered in this engineer industrial engineering aspects now for the system engineering involves uh, the recognition how we recognize different stimuli with its variations intensity and the meaning behind it the recognition the appreciation of those things and integration of all aspects of an organization or a facility these are the system engineering issues now the industrial management issues it covers that uh, which is the best way to do the task uh, so that uh, no discomfort will be there means at least we can reduce the discomfort level error to be minimized like that uh, what should constitute a day's work uh, means the limitations uh, define his task after a careful study 
means uh, the match compatibility match uh, between the task requirement and the human resources. Uh, teach him how to do it uh, means uh, if the task requires some special attention then with the existing information the person have uh, how he can best utilize that uh, and how to use the new things uh, that information provide an incentive in terms of adequate pay or reduce hours means a motivating factors provide an incentive to suppress it means there will be always positive motivating factors to accept those new things as a challenge to achieve the goal. So, these issues are under the industrial management. Now, we will see that all the things we are discussing its basic aspect is that understanding users characteristics. Now, this figure in the left hand corner of the slide it says that the person is holding a mobile phone. So, what are the informations should have in this mo mobile phone characteristics the structure. So, that uh, the man can feel a trust on this uh, design. Functionality, reliability, pleasure and finally, the uh, trust value. So, for that uh, we need to understand the user's uh, characteristics. If it matches uh, with the design features, then design will be well accepted. Now, what are the things we need to concern? There is a cognition, the learning aspect, how man learns and what are the issues? The behavior, common behavior and, spe and specific to the context specific behavior. Then performance, reliability factors, the equipment's reliability factors, mechanical reliability to deliver the him that the equipment is designed for that and the reliability of the man how he is reacting on that memory. How much learning one person can memorize that is long term memory and working memory. Long term memory is that it is it retains in mind for longer time and when a new thing comes a new situation comes it can be retrieved. And the working memory is that uh, while doing certain work uh, at that time whatever the what he is learning he can go on repeating those works, uh, but it may not retain in mind for longer time if you uh, discontinue the task. The perception after seeing that product or that area or that design what the person or the user perceives. Attention and maintain mental workload situation awareness. If when the two things are there in different situations or same situation, what will be the behavior with that product? Then decision making including diagnosis and choice. Here the learning and error has a, a good relation. Learning issues and why people do errors and what are the possibilities of the errors. Now, with this we should see that what is the performance value? What is the performance? Performance is that information input, processing, speed and accuracy. These are the linking for the performance. Now, effect is the motion action translation of the road signals etcetera, how driver selects right action on brake, steering etcetera, human cognition in terms of information processing must pass through some stages beginning with input and ending with output. This input may be through different senses and output either from mental output or a 
motor output that is with some activity C like that. And mind matter is the software whereas, the body is hardware. Now, the thing comes reaction time. The reaction time is that suppose something is coming to us to me and that information when it comes to me to judge or something and then react on that. So, that time is the reaction time. So, if, if we can reduce this reaction time then obviously, the design is a better. So, that means quickly we can recognize what the things and how to act upon that those things that is the reaction and the selective attention. Now, there are many items are there or many informations are there, but as I wish to have I can select some of the informations selective selection like in a railway station many audio inputs are there like a train departure and arrival, but I am not listening all the things it is a masking effect, but when the train number and or train name matches with my requirement that I want to board. I give my selective attention to that information, that announcement. So, this specific facilities we have that is selective attention. Now, what are the factors tells me or guides me for this selective attention? The, those are the cognitive ergonomics issues that we would like to discuss in this. Now, proper input versus irrelevant noise that is sound and others in the information. Now, environment and other thermal stressors vibration, glare affecting cognition, action performance these issues. Another issues are the fatigue and the energetics of performance in this relation. So, task induced fatigue that is vigilance task, physiological fatigue, sleep deprivation, time of the day and circadian rhythms. So, these also affects the performance like when we meet some people at the morning or in a day time the way we can receive those people at the time to while going to bed at the night. If the same people come then I may not receive them in the same way, because the time of the day and the circadian rhythm does not allow me to perform throughout the whole in the same way to receive the information and to act upon that. So, accordingly if we make design then it will be well accepted. Now, the motion that is jet lag shift work adaptation of fatigue, fatigue in one task may not be to others. So, change of task may be possible lifestyle and performance like caffeine stimulates, but not same way to everybody. So, there are individual variations. Now, if we understand this individual variations and a group specific behavior pattern that is stereotype and accordingly if we select the design features then it will be well accepted. Now, the cognitive skill and physical skill. This cognitive skill and physical skill it is predominated mode of activity and a judgment on the level of skill will be made on the basis of the judged quality of solution to the problem. Like goalkeeper, goalkeeper's task is a combination of cognitive decision making and planning which will be supported by the 
motor skill that is coordinated action. Training is necessary. Stress, arousal and performance relation we should understand. Now, role of motivation and expectancy of success, value of success, casual attributes and goal setting, these are the some issues that we need to consider. Now, individual differences like sex, age, mood, anxiety, religion and social issues that is culture, it has relation with the in the performance. Attributes of skill acquisition like in certain cases the black color is not auspicious, in some group it is auspicious also. Now, for those it is not auspicious, in that case if we give a design with that color they may not like it. So, this is the social issues and religious issues kind of thing. Now, the prediction of proficiency and aptitude, the role of knowledge is there. If I do not know this matter, then how I can appreciate it? So, we have to judge the users groups capabilities. Then accordingly, if we give the things, then it will be well accepted. Otherwise, due to that lack of knowledge, it may not be used. The knowledgeable and informed person and situation is required to be considered. There are some persons as biological by genetic excellence performer and some are information processing performer, memory performer. Some people can do better mathematics calculations and some people can do field work with the physical activities. So, now if we want to develop a certain product that a memorable if the person a information processing performer that is memory related man for him then it may not be suitable for a per person who does the physical skill work like that. But in certain cases, we have to make a balance like when we make a mobile telephone, it will be equally used by a information processing performer as well as a biological excellence performer that is a physical action. So, we have to make a judgment for whom we are designing the products and intentional that is control over which mind choose not to perform or modified that type of performer we also need to consider. Now, we will see that a higher level properties of perception. Now, we perceive a structured world in a meaningful way. Whatever we see, we try to understand some meaning behind it so that that can be used for some other ways. The perceptual organization, it is particularly important for the design of any visual display. If a symbol on a street sign is incorrectly organized, it may well go unrecognized. Similarly, if a warning signal is grouped perceptually with other displays, then its message may be lost. Now, in this case we can cite some examples like in this figure, in the right hand side figure, three birds are sitting. From a distance if we see, then we may miss these birds, but if any one bird they start moving their wings or they start jumping or flying like that, then it draws our attention. So, in a harmonious group of many items, if something is different, then it draws our attention. So, accordingly, 
in a panel if there are many indicator lamps are there of same color, but if to indicate some specific function if a specific indicator glows little higher intensity or it flickers it draws our attention. So, that has to be practiced. Now, another thing some unusual appearances also draws our attention like suppose in a marketplace in the morning when people go to that marketplace in previous night there was a storm and rain. So, in a shop a shopkeeper he suddenly noticed that many people are entering into his shop in comparison to other days and whoever is entering they are just inquiring whether there was any damage or something in there due to the storm. So, after certain period of time that shopkeeper thought that uh, what is the matter why it, they are asking all the things and why it happens. He came out of his shop and he saw that uh, the signboard at that shop it is upside down due to the storm. So, and all other signboards in other shops uh, almost remain as it was normal condition. So, the people who were visiting that marketplace they found that why it has done perhaps there is, so the inquisitiveness to a different method of thing. So, this matter if we can use then it will be useful to draw your attention, but sometimes what happens some false items are also provided in it to draw the attention like you know that uh, in some advertisement it is said that uh, a so the double benefit of a some insurance policy. So, what they do what just like this suppose this is a pot uh, and this is a open mouth. So, when you tilt it uh, then water should come from here. Now, they said that uh, double mouth double spout. So, what is an if you do it then double water should come out double amount of water. The thing is that when it is full both can be operative when the content is less then if you do it only the lower one will be active it may not be active. So, but when you see the figure. So, this positive effect and in not possible effect both gives a combined feeling to you. So, that you are attracted to see this advertisement this may be possible that type of things. Sometimes what is happen some thought like like that if I want to write it as passage of advertisement there if I say that uh, keep your luggage ready. Now, if we see that uh, keep your luggage ready people may not see it properly, but if I write it K W -E P Y O U R L G G A G R E C H then people see people are very much intelligent to recognize the mistakes. So, while seeing this they will see that whether it is mistake and the rest all are good words no problem. So, then they will try to understand recognize what it is then actually they will find out this thing. So, this is to draw the attention. So, similar type of activities may be used. Now, human factors for better design utility and productive performance. Now, here the human being is a complex enterprise where information processing, learning process, language and communication, problem solving, mental representation, planning process, decision making, memory etcetera all are related. It is by incorporating scientific knowledge into the design process that we can orient sites towards users. So, those things we need to consider. Now, 
the cognitive ergonomics that earlier also we said that uh, message encode in design man made or natural through various channels and medium the message should go to the people there will be message decode will be decoded by the intended users and destination it will go then pass people can reject the information or accept the information here the transmitter facilitators and transmitter inhibitors are out there to make the balance now which one is more depending on that the, the information flows like one thing we can say that when we enter into a shop floor or a mini factory or a school there is in a entrance it is mentioned that a single word that don't spit few days people may follow this information but if it retains there for a longer time then it becomes adapted so people will try to forget that signage and people will start again spitting in the building corners so these are the some aspects we need to consider now we'll see this aspect how to how the information goes inside judgment comes and the activity starts if we see through a well known story the story goes like that let let us look for a story of a deer grazing on a lonely grassy jungle suddenly he feels something he halts he stops his eating grass looks towards the anticipated direction something has come to him so he tried to look where from where the information is coming sensed then activation means his ears become straight tries to get information next it sees a portion of grass is waving in front of him if there is a grassy land a portion of grass is just waving becomes alert directs attention to that finds an image of maybe a tiger some yolo catches in that green grassy land then alertness information processing starts judgment stimuli turns to message reaches to destination that is the mind and then interpretation starts what it could be if this information does not match with his previous knowledge or image of a tiger to be worried of if it does not match rejection of that information and he will grasp again if it matches or gets some linking message acceptance for execution means if it matches some that yolo feeling and something in that grassy land if it matches with some tiger he has seen earlier then message acceptance for execution motor function this is the reflex type means if it matches or some kind of linking then he starts running that is reflex type action through instincts those are not governed by intelligence of brain he is not checking that whether it is a tiger or something he just gets a feeling that it may be something that is unusual dangerous he starts running little bit so this is the reflex type of activity see then he starts running after feeling moved enough from danger he stops or while running he turns his head to reconfirm the information that is the observation and he judges the intensity of the situation that is information reanalysis analyzing the context fully he either stops or accelerates feeling fleeing final task is performed means if 
while that reanalyzing that reanalysis of the information while turning head if he finds that it is not a tiger then he stops so or if it is a tiger then he will accelerate his running so this is the final task performed so in this stage many stop many phases of information processing has started now if we try to analyze this then let's see the how it is being analyzed now based the cognitive aspect analysis users basic instinct and past knowledge versus semiotic application of information and message now the motor action and stimuli processing so first the deer grazing in a lonely grassy jungle he feels something rejection by information ignored chance of accident pre knowledge matching that is recall motor action is the halt and this is the stimuli process then motor action ear eye head towards anticipated direction it moves information inquiry starts if there is safe match then he will if it safe match means it is not a tiger type of feeling then he will stop it again and he will start grazing again but if it matches or something like that doubtful match those information linking with past knowledge and learning that is recall grass waving alertness directs attention image match probably a tiger information processing image your judgment stimuli turns to message reaches to destination interpretation linking message acceptance for execution motor function that is reflex type through instincts no higher brain involved in this case if it is there then motor action is that running you will run away further while running feeling moved enough from danger this is the stimuli processing halt and observation so here what while halting and uh, what he is observing and what is going on the stock taking of information judges intensity of the situation information reanalysis and revalidation analysis of context then if the final task perform accelerates feeling or if it is safe match then stops and through loop action it goes again for the grazing so in this case there are three levels of activation this is the activation level one this is the reflex action of this type of task second level is that observation second level of that is a stimuli process in this case a stimuli process and after that execution and acceptance or rejection the third level of the confirmation this whole activity is the cognitive aspect of analysis issues so where we are getting confirmed information how much information that accelerates us to reach to the final stage the minimum time we provide for this design will be better accepted and will be safe and reliable so information processing for first activation then observation then execution and sub loops are there that activation again observation execution and it goes to observation so there are many sub loops are there while going for a specific final function then it goes to this action this is the cognitive aspect of acceptance or rejection of a product or space design it should be compatible to the anticipated users information in designing judgment on a cognitive sequence in decision making a tendency towards analysis characteristics of the task increase and reliance on intuition decreases cognitive effort and accuracy is dependent on contextual characteristics and acquired knowledge base relation 
the conceptual cognitive level emphasizes on thinking, decision making and problem solving decision support system of a design of cognitive environment cognitive engineering to be put in design process and is dependent on human information processing ability. The information that is the content and layout of the information is sensed and then is received by our sensory system is perceived that is provided with some meaningful interpretation based on memory of experience and respond to through a process of action selection that is decision of what act to make and execution and ex finally, acceptance or rejection will be there. So, information entry through all the senses. So, use most of them where serious operational judgment is required that is the stimuli reactor relation. Now, functional limitation, functional limitations are caused by multiple cognitive and language impairments that can vary widely from severe retardation to inability to remember that is aphasia is not like this. Means, while speaking or while doing something suddenly we forget something and then with some clue I can again recall those informations or, the, or I can connect that linking that is the aphasia, but it is not like that. So, that partial language limitations, memory, perception, short term and remote memory problem in solving that as for example, identifying, choosing and implementing solutions and evaluating the outcome. Now, conceptual difficulties as for example, sequencing, generalizing, previously learned information, categorizing, cause and effect, abstract concepts, comprehension and skill development, very few assisting type devices are there for people with cognitive impairments. So, simple information encoding system be used to like a use of simple displays, low language loading, use of patterns so that people can recognize easily, needing less reaction time to operate, simple obvious sequences and cute sequences if we use all those things in a designed item as basic characteristics while using the design or choosing the design would be beneficial and will be useful for us. Now, cognitive strategies and the metacognitive skill and conceptual knowledge, what does it mean? These are a learning mechanism commonly used in problem solving level on learning hierarchy is not simply a matter of applying previously learned rules, is also a process that yields new cognitive strategy. Once it is learnt, it may be transferred to other kind of learning in a different knowledge domain. So, this is the cognitive strategy and if we use this, then it will be obviously beneficial while accepting a design. Now, the metacognitive means the knowledge of about your own thoughts and the factors that influences your thinking. If these aspects are used while selecting design criteria, then obviously it will be accepted because it matches the compatible matches are there. So, design will be useful. Now, design relevant aspects for information processes 
capability see. Now, here in this left hand side some aspects five aspects and the design goals are in right side. Now, the aspect that one expectation what we what it is the relationship between objects and responses is compatible with users expectations. Now, perception meaningful stimuli are detectable memory reliance on short working and long term memory are minimized decision making that is mitigate maintainers tendency towards bias in decision making. Then semantic memory in a noisy location if anybody writes something efficiency diminishes because of the difficulty of retrieving material from that part of long term memory concerned with the, the meaning of words etcetera and may be produced by a shift in the confidence with each type of material recalled like that is the selective memory and forgetting issues. So, with this we are ending today's information processing and perception basics. So, next class the next session class number 26 we will discuss the cognitive aspects and mental workload where we will be elaborately discussing the memory matter and how we select the selective linkings and etcetera that we will discuss in next class. So, for today this is the course material. So, for next day we will see how it is design application direct design applications are there. Thank you very much.